Hello there, my name is Dimitri Walters, Master of Wine with Berry Brothers and Rudd. I'm going to tell you a little bit about the principles of food and wine matching, in brief, just to give you an impression of what goes with what and what might dissonate and, and not work. First off, sparkling wine, whether it's champagne, English sparkling wine, can work wonderfully with a meal. You should give it a go with lighter fish dishes, perhaps poultry, and don't be afraid to use fruitier sparkling wines such as Prosecco with food as well. Now, white wines offer a whole host of problems when it comes to, to matching with food and a whole host of possibilities. If you're tasting something that is unoaked, perhaps light-bodied, quite low in alcohol, quite lean and with delicate flavours such as Chablis, then look for the appropriate um, lightly flavoured dish or rather a dish that isn't over embellished, such as Dover Sole, or another fish dish that doesn't overpower the wine. Because you want the wine and the food to be in balance. The wine not to overpower the food, the food not to overpower the wine. Now, if you're talking about something that is oaky and full-bodied, then you might consider uh, flavors that are in themselves able to withstand that, such as embellished dishes, dishes that perhaps have a little bit of spice, that have some creaminess, that are embellished beyond their, their natural state. You might consider wines from a warmer country that have a broader fruit profile and more texture. When considering red wine, then one end of the spectrum, you have wines like this, Berry Brothers and Rudd's Australian Shiraz. This is a textured, oaky, full-flavored wine that has primary fruit, it's delicious, spicy, fruity, and would work very well with bold cuisine. If you're looking at something that is um, perhaps a little bit more restrained, might even be finer cuisine, something that is very complex but, but has delicate flavors, then you might consider red burgundy. Not necessarily this one, this is rather grand, but red burgundy, so Pinot Noir, or you might consider something from northwestern Italy, such as the Nebbioli of, of Barbaresco and Barolo, um, or other delicately flavored but textured wines. When it comes to red wines from other parts of the world, then there's a whole, whole plethora of opportunities. And each, each region will offer a match with appropriate cuisine. So for instance, if you're tasting wine from Greece and you're eating mixed cuisine, perhaps red meat, white meat, poultry, fish, there are countless different wines that work well with all of those, not just with each of those. If you're having a guest for dinner, and they're vegetarian, there are still so many different wines that work with vegetarian cuisine. If you're looking at delicate vegetarian cuisine, perhaps salads, then the commensurate delicate white wine would work. Something that is more mineral than fruity, lower in alcohol than higher in alcohol. If you're cooking something with pulses, beans, something that might be full bodied with beans and onions, then Again, you can go for something that is also full-bodied. Red wine even. Experiment with fuller-bodied white wines. If you're considering something baked, perhaps involving root vegetables, potatoes, then again, you can afford to go for a white wine or a red wine, less fruity, more textured, oilier, fuller-bodied, to, to work with the equivalent flavors in the dish. Now, with sweet wines, there's so much opportunity to mix and match what you're eating. If you're a big cheese eater, then one of the, the great cheese wines has to be vintage port, or indeed tawny port, many other types of port. And uh, a grand, Graham's 1970 is the perfect match for Stilton, as would be Madeira, as might be the sweet wines of Italy and Greece and, uh, and the New World. There are many sweet wines that work with puddings as well. If you're looking at a wine that is super sweet, perhaps 150, 200 grams of residual sugar, then you need a, a dish that is fully flavored, very sweet and licorice. But you might also consider wines like Tokai with dishes that are complex and difficult to match wine with. They have good acidity. They cut through sugar in the, in the dish. If you're considering a wine to, to match with something that is delicately flavored, maybe a summer pudding, an eaten mess, then it's best to rein in the sugar in the wine and have something that is more about fruit, such as Moscato d'Asti or Muscat de Bombe de Venise, wines like that that aren't super sweet, 
but that have delicate fruit flavors to match the delicate fruit flavors of the puddings and desserts. And if, like me, you love good old-fashioned steamed puddings, then the sweeter the better. Enjoy them. <laughs>